Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick little haul of some things that I've picked up recently um, that are like all, basically the only thing that's uniting them all is that they're all fall themed. I'm like, I talk, I'm talking like Dr. Seuss right now. Doing a fall haul with all these fall fall. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I wanted to do a haul of a bunch of stuff that I got because I'm obsessed with autumn and it's my favorite season and I love it and let's just, let's just do it. First thing I'll show you, I guess, is the bag I got because it's the only thing that's like remotely fashion related, even though it's literally just a red backpack. <laughs> so I got this bag um, at Ardeen's for like $11, um, originally $22, 50% off, deal. Um, but no, seriously, um, I don't wear school anymore, and it's not physically, um, but I like having a nice backpack, especially in the fall. Um, for if you want to go somewhere for the day, like if you're going to the farmer's market or a fall fair or apple picking. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm probably not going to do any of those things. Um, I like having a bag just to carry a lot of stuff, um, in and I didn't have one. The last backpack I had, I bought at the Laurier, uh, school store or whatever and it's now my dog's bag. It literally says his name inside of it for when we drop him off at the boarding place. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I just, I was in Nardines and I saw this for really cheap and so I just got it. The, uh, woman working in the counter fully thought that I was, like, a grade 11. <laughs> she was, like, talking about going to school and, like, all this stuff and I was like, um, no. So anyways, yeah, that's just, like, a little backpack that I got. Pretty simple. Next, I'm gonna show you two little decor things that I got. I got these both from, um, Zares or Joe Fresh, I'm not actually sure... How that really works together but anyways so the first thing is this giant super extra bouquet of like all a whole bunch of stuff so it's like very aggressively autumn like there's a squash and a pumpkin and like some pine cones and stuff like that and like leaves and whatever this is um i think it's it's all none of no, it's real or anything like that like it's all it's all plastic but yeah i thought it was kind of cute it's a bit so extra it's so ridiculous but i just wanted like a nice little centerpiece or whatever just to put like by the side of our living room we just have and yeah i like it it's super gaudy but you know what so am i okay so this next thing is this little pumpkin shaped light that i thought was really cute it's like the most basic simplistic minimalistic thing in the world it's literally just a light um but yeah you turn it on and it's like a little pumpkin light um, there was a bunch of other ones, well not really a bunch, but there's a couple other ones that I kind of liked, but I didn't like what color they chose for them to be, because like obviously a pumpkin's orange, but they had like a black one that, or they, sorry, they had a cat one that was like bright pink, and I was like, um, sorry, Halloween expert here, <laughs> clearly, uh, that should be black, even though I don't really understand how black light would work, like, that's not a thing. Anyways, um, and there was, like, a bat that was also, like, some random, like, bright color, um, so I didn't really like those that much. I would have rather gotten the cat, probably, but I didn't like the color, so I got this pumpkin. I still love you, pumpkin. Uh, this sits behind my super extra bouquet on, like, my side table, and I just, like, every once in a while, I go and turn it on. It's battery-powered, so I kind of am, like, being cautious about how much I use it because I don't want the batteries to run out in like a week um but it's LED so it should last a while but yeah cute uh next thing is two candles that I got at bed bed bath and body works <laughs> I was gonna say bed bath and beyond not the same thing yeah I got a bath and body works um I'm obsessed with scented candles uh I always buy new ones every single fall that are like beautifully scented um so here are the ones I got this year this one is marshmallow fireside um, I bought this one, so I realized something that I didn't know, which is probably like, like all the Bath and Body Work fans are like, obviously, but I didn't realize that they sell a bunch of candles that are the same scent, but they have like slightly different art on them. There's like this one, which is like really cool and why I picked this one, because it's like kind of like hand-drawn like aesthetic and it's like colorful and stuff like that, but there's also other ones you can get that are like more simplistic or ones that are more like aesthetic, whatever, but I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. I thought they were all different kinds like different lines anyways not interesting this is marshmallow fireside it smells like marshmallows mostly i think the point is that the candle is supposed to smell like marshmallows and then like when you add the fire it smells like fireside but um it does it does have a little bit of 
So I really like the smell of trees. Like I like pine smell and like oak and like the smell of like freshly cut wood and, and the smell of like the forest and stuff like that. But I find that whenever candles claim to be like wood scented, like oh hickory apple or whatever, they always just smell like really, really, really bad cologne. Like really fake scented, like terribly fake scented stuff. Or like just really overwhelming. Like sometimes they nail the pine scent, but it's like I'm getting punched in the face by a pine tree. This one has a little bit of that, like a little bit of that they tried to make it smell like wood underneath the marshmallows, but it's mostly the marshmallows, so I think it'll be okay, but yeah. Candle. That's a lot of opinions to have about a candle, but you know, I like to talk. Second candle that I got is Caramel Apple. So this is a, another example of the type of packaging that they have. Like this one's a more simplistic, like an actual photo is my hand drawn. Um, I would have probably gotten this one with that style of label if I had like realized that before I was already checking out, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, Caramel Apple. This was actually Nick's choice because it was a two for one deal or something crazy. Um, and so he picked this one out. It honestly smells incredible. Like I could eat this candle. It smells so good. It actually, and it's really good because I find a lot of the times that when food scented candles have like two foods in them, like this is caramel apple. Like it's specifically supposed to smell like a caramel apple. It's not supposed to smell like apple. It's not supposed to smell like caramel. It's supposed to smell like a caramel apple. And it does. It has both the scents. Like there's just one candle that I've gotten from um, uh, uh, Bath and Body Works that's like pumpkin pecan waffles, I think it is. And it literally just smells like pumpkin. There's no pecan smell. There's no... I mean, I guess waffles don't really have a smell, but, like, freshly cooked waffles do have a smell. Or, like, they could be maple syrup or anything like that. But, no, it's just pumpkin. So this one's good because it has a good balance between the apple smell and the caramel smell. Again, a lot of opinions that I just spouted out about a single candle, but I'm basic. Uh, and then the next thing that I... Well, the next and last thing that I got um, is some tea from David's Tea. So I love David's Tea. It is my favorite place to get tea. Um ever I don't drink it in the summer literally at all because I get hot from drinking a hot drink like really easily like even in the middle of winter if I'm drinking a hot drink it will make me start sweating so I don't drink it in the summer at all because I'm sweating enough already uh, I don't need the help um so yeah I every year pretty much like right at the beginning of fall I do like a big order from them whether I go in or whatever normally I get one of those like sampler packs that they have where it's like all of our fall themed teas in like one little thing but <laughs> it gets really mad when I do that because it's like super overpriced compared to how much the tea costs if you just get it but like in a bag probably for like all the extra packaging and stuff like that so this year i decided to not get a sampling pack i don't even know if they're offering their like official autumn things yet like i don't see it. like it's only september so they don't have their halloween thing out yet but yeah so i just ordered a couple things two of these are from their um 10th anniversary special line thing so i don't know if that i'm pretty sure that's like limited time only kind of thing so if you think these sound delicious which you should uh you shop on that uh and then one of them is like an old flavor that they used to have and then they just recently brought back again i don't know if it's for a limited time or not so so this one is s'mores chai this is the one that is was the old flavor and they brought it back um so if you don't know about david's tea you're probably like what are you talking about s'mores chai so basically david's tea makes a bunch of different types of loose leaf tea um but they're super <laughs> extra so they'll be like uh birthday cake flavored and there's like literal sprinkles in the birthday cake tea um or they'll do like um well for example s'mores chai um if i'll, I'll do a close-up of like the actual like tea leaves because like you won't be able to see but there's like actual little bits of marshmallow there's actual chocolate chips um, and there's actual graham cracker, I think? Gooey toasted marshmallows, graham crackers, dark chocolate. It's no wonder we live for s'mores. <laughs> it's tempting, um, I don't know how to pronounce that type of tea. Pu'er. Uh, adds an extra dash of cinnamon to the campfire classic. So yeah, it's got brittle pieces, which is like sugar, hazelnut, and more sugar. Uh, cinnamon, uh, marshmallows, uh, chocolate chips, and yeah, that's it. So they don't have, it doesn't actually have graham crackers in it, it just has like those sugary things. But anyways. It's really good. Um, this is the only one out of these three that I've actually tried so far because um, Nick wanted to try it last night and it was really good. Um, he ended up putting some agave syrup in his because he likes his tea sweet. He doesn't like it just kind of plain. But I found it to be pretty sweet by itself. Like it has dark chocolate in it. Um, so, you know, when you're used to like a normal plain tea, it, it can be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, it was really delicious. Um, so yeah, these next two are from their 10th anniversary special line or whatever like that so I'm pretty sure it's only up for a limited time just throwing that out there uh so this one is red velvet cake I it was funny because I didn't realize how dessert themed my teas were until I was telling Nick about them and he was like you just 
you just went to a bakery like you didn't order tea you ordered baked goods and I was like you're right so yeah this is red velvet cake uh, it's a black tea and I haven't tried it yet but it smells amazing it's another one that has literal chocolate chips in it mm, so good so it has so it's got uh, the tea obviously uh, <laughs> the tea uh, milk chocolate white chocolate um, boring stuff milk oh no that's part of the white chocolate ingredients sprinkles they're like little red sprinkles um, for the red velvet effect beetroot powder i'm sure that's just to make the tea look more red so i'm really excited about this i kind of am a little and this sounds super stupid but i'm a little disappointed that there's not like actual pieces of red velvet in here because like in their birthday cake one they have actual sprinkles and um freeze-dried ice cream in it so like i know that they can pull crap like that off um but yeah i'm sure it'll still be amazingly delicious and again super sweet but nick will still want more sugar in it so there you go i'm like dragging nick's tea <laughs> tastes and then the last one i got was cookie dough so again, super, super sweet, baked, good, themed. It's a white tea and it has uh, cocoa peel and nibs, uh, almonds, walnuts, caramel pieces, chocolate chips, and yeah, some more flavoring. So yeah, it's supposed to, um, again, it doesn't have any actual like cookie in it. It just has the chocolate chips and like some vaguely cookie dough tasting like nuts and stuff. Um, but it smells really good and uh, it looks really good. I like the little caramel, come here. The little caramel pieces look really, really delicious. Like I want to eat that. And yeah, so I'm excited to try this one. I actually was going to probably try it last night, but Nick wanted to try the s'mores one. The problem that I realized too late was that they all have caffeine in them. This one and the s'mores one are low caffeine and the red velvet one is medium caffeine because um, it's a black tea, which isn't great because I like to, I don't like to drink tea in the morning. I like to drink it right before I go to bed, but if it's low caffeine, then I'll be up all night, blah, blah, blah. Um, so make sure if you're buying tea to look at that because I always forget that that is a thing that they tell you about. Like, I can't, it is knowledge I can have. And then, um, if you've ever ordered from Tea, you know this, but they send you, for every type of tea you buy, they send you a sample of another type of tea. Um, so these are the sample packs. They're basically like one tea, one cup's worth um, of tea. And so um, I picked this one. This one is uh, pumpkin chai. It was the only one that I actually cared that I wanted out of the, cause it gives you like a list of options for the uh, samples you can get, but uh, pumpkin chai was the only one I cared about. Um, these ones were like randomly chosen for me. So it has cinnamon and cloves, uh, caramel and pumpkin candy. Oh yeah, this one's awesome because it has like it has like sprinkles that are shaped like pumpkins and like jack-o'-lanterns in it. So that's fun. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that one. Uh, and then I also got a sample of Buddha's Blend, which I've gotten a sample of this one and Forever Nuts, which is the other one. I've gotten a sample of these before, so I don't know if they're like low-selling ones, so they have to like give them away in the free samples, but they're not. They weren't bad. It's not like they're like gross or anything like that. They just must, I, I, I figure they must be the less popular flavors. Let's say that. Uh, so yeah, Buddha Blend, white tea, uh, white tea. Oh, it's green tea as well. Uh, jasmine pearls, white hibiscus blossoms, and some, some flavoring. So yeah, this one's really good. It's funny because it says it's, it's called Buddha's Blend and it says it's like the key to achieving Nirvana, but it's medium caffeine. So I don't think I can reach Nirvana when I'm like bouncing off the walls, but maybe that's just me. Um, and then the last one is Forever Nuts, called a fruit infusion. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm guessing that means it's like several different types of tea, or maybe it's not even it's not even tea. There's literally no tea in this bag. Okay, cool. <laughs> so it's apple pieces, almonds, cinnamon, beetroot, and then artificial flavoring. So this is literally not tea. It's just a bunch of nuts that you put in water. Um, but I, I did have it before and I didn't realize that and it was really good. Um, no caffeine as you can imagine because there's no tea in this. But yeah, I had it before and it was, it was pretty good so... But I can understand why I it might not sell as good because I'm not going to spend tea money for not tea. Anyways. So yeah, that is how I'm living my life this autumn. Uh, I also actually bought a bag from Amazon um, that I wanted to have. It was like a cute little satchel bag but I forgot... Well, I didn't know that it... I did know that it was leather when I when I ordered it, but I forgot that leather sucks and it stinks and it's like really hard to use and um, it usually comes with like old fashioned clasps on it. So I had like literal old buckles, like a belt buckle, which like I'm not into. I need like a snap or a zip. <laughs> I sound so stupid. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I returned that and I'm gonna try to find another one. So if you have a recommendation of where I can get a bag that's like a crossbody bag, cute for the fall, whatever, let me know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
um let me know in the comments how you guys are celebrating fall as though it's something special to celebrate not just like a part of the year so yeah let me know what you guys are doing for autumn what kind of scented candles you're loving what kind of tea you're drinking what kind of decorations you're putting up uh, how basic you're being, what kind of Starbucks drinks you're drinking. It's a PS all I know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Later days. Mm -hmm.